The word for the day is recall, as in the proposed legislation going before the, uh, the state legislature in Florida right now that would allow for the recall of elected officials is a great idea. Um, particularly when we talk about officials who have a four-year term, um, there's the big problem, of course, what happens if they do something really horrific um, immediately once they get into office that has nothing to do with uh, you know, committing a felony or something like that, and there's no proposition for getting rid of them. Um, the people should have the ultimate power in a democratic system, and that should also include the power to change their mind if the circumstances come out or if they find out something that they did not know at the time that they voted for a particular candidate. This is also true because what happens on election day is not really that super representative of the way a group of people might feel. Um, it, it's really kind of based on, you know, what individuals thought they knew and felt on that particular day um, and they didn't have some kind of intervening factor that influenced their um, opinion in the wrong way. Particularly when you talk about a close election like say the um, governor's election in Florida in 2010, it was such a close race that to suggest that somehow the, the, the will of the people was expressed in choosing Rick Scott um, and allowing him to implement whatever crazy agenda he wants to is not actually that accurate a reflection of what happened. Um, and you can particularly see that almost immediately once he got into office and he started actually following through on the extreme things that he wanted to do, his popularity number shot to like historic lows for a sitting Florida governor. I've not ever heard of anything even remotely as bad as what Scott's are. And it's not because, um, you know, he campaigned on like this clear uh, conservative agenda that the majority of Floridians agree with. I said he campaigned on that uh, agenda that was kind of a center-right agenda that a lot of Floridians either agree with or are open to depending on the circumstances but his real agenda was much more extreme than that and he didn't he, he wasn't open and honest about that so now the, the the people of Florida are now stuck with him for four years and he's gonna do damage well beyond what anybody um, except the most extreme people voted for and there's nothing that anybody could do about that um, for four years and you can do a lot of damage in four years and so um, we need a mechanism there that would allow the citizens of Florida to say, hey, we made a mistake, this guy lied to us, um, let's get rid of him. And it's a way to keep both the governor accountable and the rest of the government accountable, depending on how the legislation is written. But I can't see how anybody is against holding people accountable. Um, watch that the very people that opposed this were the same people that supported Gray Davis being recalled in California and replaced by Arnold Schwarzenegger. You watch, ask people who they who they supported in that election, and there's a really good chance that if you if you look back, that some of them will be the very same people, and they'll oppose this one because it's their their party's guy that's in power. But um, either way, regardless of who's in power, we need a we need a recall option. It can have a relatively high bar, uh, standard. It shouldn't be something that's frivolous or easy to manipulate. But when there's someone who's clearly going off the rails and clearly violating the will of the people on multiple fronts, there should be a way to do something about that rather than waiting four years.